Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Hello family, welcome to the channel Beautiful people, I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day Another day, another video Before we get started, just wanted to kind of give you guys A little bit of a heads up with the scar From Lambok, Indonesia Alhamdulillah, it's, it's uh, slowly as you can see Getting better and it's fading uh, away But we got a memory of Indonesia up here Clean shape, so I wanted to guys show you that That clean shape, the shiny head as well And not hiding behind a hat and in today's video guys will be reacting to indonesian military's new video and how strong it is by behind asia so without further ado grab yourself a couple of cold drinks and snacks and food whatever you like grab a seat and let's get started indonesia's military has slowly become one of the world's largest armed forces wow the worst, one of the world's power, largest ranked indonesia in 2024 as 13 out of 145 wow nations. 13 Nation out of 145 becoming a military superpower, superpower. That may one day rival that of china india and the united states wow, today Shala. however indonesia is still just one of many regional military powers Pass. they have the strength that may rival that of some European countries or That's large crazy. South American military forces. But to understand just how big and strong Indonesia's military is, let's discuss its size, equipment used, uh -huh. and future plans. The first do that. and most important factor of Indonesia's military is size and structure. Okay. Indonesia's military is big. It reflects sure. the country's population and economy. Indonesia today has a GDP of about 1.48 trillion wow, US so dollars. As public trillion. International Monetary Fund, Crazy. IMF, making it one of the world's largest 16. economies. The country's population, on the other hand, sits at approximately 279 Nine million. million people, which makes it the fourth largest globally. Ooh. These two indicators are already important it's for crazy military Masala. might. For a country to have a Fourth big the largest military, population, they must need a big economy and a huge oh. amount of people. The economy will support a country's military equipment, whether yeah. they can buy state-of-the-art fighter jets, submarines, and tanks, or they have the resources and technology to build their own equipment locally. Yeah. The population, on the other hand, is also important because it allows a country yeah, to employ people who will use these equipment in exactly. times of war. These are simply the reasons why Indonesia has a big chance to become a global superpower yeah, because sure. it has the people and a big future economy. Yeah. Now let's discuss the structure big of the economy, Indonesian sure. military. The Indonesian military is more commonly known as the Indonesian National Armed Forces. Mm. The National Armed Forces is then divided into three branches. The Army, the Navy, and the Air Force. Each Army, Navy, and Air Force. In the military capabilities of Indonesia. The global firepower <laughs> estimates that Indonesia currently has 1,050,000 Military personnel, One million 400,000 of which personnel. are active, and another 400,000 are reserve personnel, and 250,000 are paramilitary. The Air Force personnel consists of 30,100, the Army personnel are about 300,400, and the Navy personnel sits at 66,034. Wow, so. Let's now talk about each of these branches and their capabilities. Let's start with the Army, which is the most vital piece of Indonesia's defense capabilities. The Indonesian Army has several equipment ranging from basic uniforms to handheld weaponries and ground vehicles mm -hmm. such as tanks and artillery yeah we've seen those in previous videos Indonesia's army formidable are its tanks and artillery mm -hmm. its tanks are many and they come from all across the world some from germany turkey france the netherlands and so on the most famous as of yet is none other than indonesia's leopard 2 from germany in 2016 the indonesian army received the initial eight units of a total of 61 leopard 2 Two A4 third wow. generation main battle tanks, or MBTs. These Leopard 2 A4s are touted as some of Southeast Asia's most advanced and lethal battle tanks. Wow. These deliveries from Germany are part of a larger defense deal that includes 103 Leopard main battle tanks, 42 upgraded Martyr 1A3 infantry fighting vehicles, as well as a selection of 10 specialized vehicles for armored recovery, mobile bridging, and military engineering, all sourced from surplus 
plus German army stocks. Besides the Leopard, the Indonesian army also took in the Haramau medium tank as a result of a collaboration between PT Pindad and Turkey's FNSS defense systems. Oh, wow, it was reported that unlike the Leopard 2, the Haramau medium tank combat weight is approximately 35 tons, which enables the tank to access less developed roads and bridge networks. The contract between the Haramau medium tank started way back in 2015, when the governments of Indonesia and Turkey agreed to co-develop the it's modern crazy. weight tank or work together to build that tank for the Indonesian army, anticipating a development phase of about 37 months with a budget of $30 million. This partnership aimed to enhance the army's capabilities with a new it's tank design cheap. initially named the MMWT and later known as the Haramau. The collaboration included sharing intellectual property rights mm. the tank featuring a 35 ton Between design Indonesian turkey, with crazy. a belgian made cockerel 105 millimeter rifled barrel turret was first unveiled wow. in indonesia in 2016 armament wise so the armament features too. a 105 millimeter cockerel 3105 <laughs> turret capable of high pressure fires and is equipped with a standard 105 millimeter rifled gun a 7.62 millimeter coaxial machine gun and oh. optional machine guns for additional defense support <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, smoke grenades, wow. Artillery used by the Indonesian army. Oh, the artillery is crazy. Khan missile system. This was announced. Khan missile system, what? It made Indonesia the it's first, first time I've heard about this. Equipment. What? The system was designed to have a range of 208 kilometers and high precision on the bit. battlefield. It weighs about 2,500 kilograms with a 407 kilogram high explosive warhead. Now, let's move on to talk about Indonesia's navy. The other it's vital piece drones of the country's and defense. airplanes. Fighter jets. Is the most important of yes, the three branches, for sure. Simply because Indonesia is an archipelago yeah, nation. Cool. Cool. Man, I miss Indonesia. Thousands of islands. The Navy deploys several equipment ranging from submarines to warships. The most important, of course, is none other than the Indonesian Navy's submarine fleet. There are currently three fleets, two of which are active, <laughs> and one is still in ongoing order. The ones that Indonesia currently deploy is the Nagapasa class and Kakra class. The Nagapasa huh. class is a diesel electric attack submarine. It's part of a contract valued at $1.02 billion. Ooh. The Indonesian Ministry of Defense and DSM collaborated paper. on the construction of three Nagapasa class submarines. DSME will build two submarines and the third will be constructed by PT PAL in Indonesia, benefiting mm. from a technology transfer. This will That's allow smart. PT PAL to utilize both DSME and its own fabricated sections. And then the after Nagapasa that, they can make it themselves. are modeled after the DSME improved Shangbogo design, itself an evolution of the German Type 209-1400 design wow. from Thyssen Krupp Marine Systems (TKMS), the submarines measure 61.3 meters in length, have a beam of 6.3 meters, and a draft of 5.5 meters, with a displacement of 1,400 tons. They are equipped with four MTU 12 volt 493 diesel generators, enabling wow. speeds of up to 21.5 knots. I think Russia. Russia has nuclear submarines, so that will be next for Indonesia to get. Of deploying Black Shark heavy torpedoes and submarine launched mines. The Kakra class, on the other hand, is also a diesel electric attack yeah, submarine. Yeah, diesel. It was built by the Holvadsverke Deutsche Werft and retrofitted That's by... That's a German Europe. company, I guess. It was commissioned in 1991 Damn, and rejoined the fleet in 2005. Those guys are car makers. Measuring 59.5 meters in length and featuring a beam of 6.2 meters are capable of reaching speeds up to 21.5 knots while submerged. They have the endurance to stay underwater for approximately 50 days. 50 days, that's crazy. With advanced weaponry, they can launch 21-inch SUT heavyweight torpedoes that are domestically manufactured. The future submarine is a Scorpion deal with France. The details are still unknown since it was signed just a few months ago. Mm -hmm. But this April. already shows the future path of Indonesia's army, one that consistently upgrades and meets the demands of the 21st century. Aside from submarines, the Navy also deploys several warships. One of them is called the Ahmad Yani class. It is an old that was built back in the late 1960s. It still Another looks one is the Marta Dinata new. class frigate, which is a rather newly built frigate built by a nice. shelled naval shipbuilding from the Netherlands. I like the design Finally, of it. Let's talk about the last piece of Indonesia's defense capability. Air, 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 air Force. The oh, Indonesian air, force. air force operates several combat aircrafts. One of them, most 
advanced is the Dassault Rafale from France. France. The contract, however, is still fairly recent. The Indonesian and French government signed this back in just 2022 for a total of 42 jets, costing them a massive wow. 8.1 billion US dollars. Oh, the Air Force really? also operates several F-16 Fighting Falcon from the United States. They recently completed the Falcon Crazy. Star and MLU upgrade on the fifth F-16 in 2021. Another aircraft is the Sukhoi Su-30 from That's Russia. It was Russia. reported to be delivered back in 2013. As reported, it was delivered in unassembled form by the Komsomolskna Amur mm. Aircraft Production Association, or KNAPO. The aircraft had completed the Indonesian Air Force's Sukhoi Fighter Jet Squadron, bringing the total to 16 Su-27 SKM and Su-30 oh. MK-2 planes, according to Xinyao. Furthermore, the Indonesian Defense Minister, Pernomo Yuskiantaro, was quoted by local media that Indonesia has invested around $1.17 billion on procurement of the 16 aircraft, along with ammunition, pilot training, and logistic packages. Now, we've discussed several was, guess, from Russia. deployed by the three branches of Indonesia's military. However, there is still so much more equipment that the country deploys. The final part in understanding how big they are is their military spending. How much does the Indonesian government spend on its military? They spend about $9 billion per year. In 2022, it was reported that they set aside $9.3 billion. Then a year not a, was reduced uh, to like just about $8.8 billion. However, they had also reported a $125 billion arms procurement budget plan in 2021. Crazy, guys. We saw the Indonesian army, military armed forces and all their equipment uh i was surprised with the uh submarines that they're still diesel powered because like i said russia at the moment they have the nuclear power which basically you know it's just nuclear um, reaction that happens and that gives you power so i guess you never really run out of uh, power so that's pretty cool um but i didn't see that there is any plans for example it could be maybe in, in, in the works they're talking behind the scenes where nothing is in the news but that would be pretty cool if they got like a nuclear power submarine uh, and the other thing is that indonesia doesn't have a aircraft carrier right now i think the only three countries or so that have it i think it states uh, china has it and russia has it and i think that's it like three or four countries that have aircraft uh, carrier so i know indonesia doesn't have it but that would be pretty cool if uh, indonesia gets some aircraft carrier and that would give them basically more power uh, in the sea um, and uh, more equipment right so that's awesome um indonesia is the uh you know next uh, powerhouse you know coming up so that's awesome more power to you guys more success and uh great to see you know cool things coming out of indonesia the partnership with turkey as well as the other countries so that way they can do some technology transfer so they can learn how to build these equipment and they can do it in-house rather than having to pay other country to build them these uh, equipment so really really cool guys i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did if you did then don't forget to please smash that like button and as always thank you very much for all your love and support guys if you have any other videos that you'd like me to check please put in the comment section below take care of yourself and family so i'll see you guys in the next video take care and